that investment, just write it off as a loss. Well, then what am I to do, George? How can I straighten things out? You have to cut down in every possible way. Now, if you continue to spend your capital, you'll end up penniless. Dear me, I'd better go home and discuss this with Harriet. It's a most serious situation. Yes, Mr. Johnson, it is. Oh, don't you worry. Mr. B will straighten everything out for you. Hazel, please. <laughs> By all means, discuss it with Mrs. Johnson. Find ways to cut your spending. And before you make any investments, investigate them thoroughly. Indeed, I will, George. Oh, that reminds me. Tomorrow, I have an appointment with a man who's inventing a perpetual motion machine. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, come on, Mr. B. You gotta do something. Hazel, all I can do is give them advice. I can't run their lives. But can't you find them some surefire investment? That... There's no such thing as a surefire investment. But them two can't live without money. Hazel, they still have more money than you'll ever see. Of course, I don't know how long they're going to keep it. That's what I mean. You got to do something, Mr. B. I've done all I can, Hazel. I'm sorry. Well, I ain't. I'm going to go over and talk to them. <laughs> well, they got them on racks in all sizes. Oh, isn't that a clever idea, Herbert? Dresses all made up. Very clever. Too bad they don't do it with suits. Then I could save money, too. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, they do. Isn't that exciting, Harriet? There's a whole new world out there. Oh, it's marvelous. I've got an idea. Let's let Roberta go. Let the maid go? Oh, we can't do that. Who would answer the door? <laughs> we can do that. And we can also answer the phone, couldn't we, Hazel? Oh, sure. It comes easy once you get used to it. Then I think it's an excellent idea. Dining would be no problem. We could eat in restaurants. Well, uh, uh, restaurants is kind of expensive. Maybe I could give Mrs. Johnson a few tips in cooking. Oh, would you, Hazel? You know, Herbert, I feel like a new bride. We are going to be happier than we've ever been. Now, now, Harriet, let's not exaggerate, my dear. I'm reminded of something my father used to say. Poverty does not necessarily bring happiness. <laughs> That's deep, Herbert. Father had a philosophical turn of mind. Oh, yeah, terrific. <laughs> now then, how do I go about discharging Roberta? You mean you never fired a maid before? Never. They've always quit. A surprising number of them with nervous breakdowns. <laughs> no, if I was you, I'd just tell her I was letting her go in a nice way. That's what I shall do. I shall write a letter of recommendation. Oh, and he writes lovely letters of recommendation. Just lovely. You know, he should have been a writer. I understand bestsellers are quite rewarding financially. Uh, perhaps. I don't think it's that easy, Mr. Johnson. I could call it my 40 years as a... Uh, as a... Stamp collector, Herbert. No, my dear, I don't think that's quite Somebody adequate. Somebody rang the bell. Oh, Roberta, how nice of you to come in. You know Hazel, of course. Oh, sure. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Roberta. And you know Mrs. Johnson? <laughs> I've been working here three weeks. Oh, yes, of course. I, I trust they've been happy weeks. They've been miserable. <laughs> yeah. What seems to be the trouble? Well, aside from everything else, I can't sleep at night. My mattress is as hard as a rock. How do you expect a person to sleep on a bed like that? Oh, but we don't, Roberta. We didn't know. Had no idea. Well, we'll buy you a new mattress. We'll... Uh, uh, Mr. I... Johnson. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, won't you sit down, Roberta? You're like one of the family. What's your last name? Crawford. Oh, that's a lovely name. Crawford. Yes, indeed. Well, that reminds me of one of my favorites in the theatrical field, Roderick Crawford. You trying to be funny or something? Oh, good heavens, no. That's the farthest thing from my mind. No, actually, I, uh, to tell, tell... You want me to handle this? Oh, Hazel, I'd be most grateful. Roberta. The Johnsons won't be needing a maid any longer. They're letting you go. What? Well, you don't have to get so excited about it. I can get you a job tomorrow with the Fieldings. I happen to know they want somebody. Well, okay. Naturally, we'll give you a month's severance pay and... Uh... And two weeks vacation pay, Herbert. <laughs> yes, indeed. And a month's sick leave oh, and... Oh, for Pete's sake, why don't you give her a Christmas bonus, too? Yes, and a Christmas bonus, too, and that... Mr. Johnson, you may be letting the maid go, but you're talking yourself right into bankruptcy. <laughs>